Jack again. I've been getting a lot of emails lately asking how to customize the icons in OS X. Damn it, Bill. St stop touching yourself, Bill. Anyway, I want to show you how to customize the icons in OS X. Uh, it's probably the hardest OS to customize. First thing you need to do is just head over to you know, apple.com, go to the download section. Uh, Bill? Uh, I said stop touching yourself, Bill. Dang it. All right, there is a button down here that says icons, screensavers, etc. Go ahead and click that sucker. Then you're going to find yourself a little icon pack here and download it. You know, whatever your choice, just download it. Lots of choices here. There's also plenty of other websites that stock them. Once you download them, extract them, you'll end up with a folder, probably with a bunch of files like this, little icons you can look at. I want to make this guy right here my icon for my hard drive. So what I'm going to do... Dang it, Bill. 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 Can't you go in another room? This is getting kind of ridiculous, Bill. Okay. So right-click on that sucker. Go to Get Info. Right-click on the icon you want to change. Say Get Info. Here's the part that, you know, like, it's kind of difficult to figure out on your own without somebody helping you out. There's a little picture of an icon up here. Click it until the outside of it becomes blue. Then do the, you know, command C, command to copy. Go over to the one that you want to copy it to. Click it so that it's outlined in blue. Command V for paste. And that's it. Uh, once you do that, you'll see that the icon has He's now right now been changed to the new uh, icon. Uh, Bill! Bill, are you finished yet? You need to finish. Just just finish. And leave that cat alone. That's ridiculous. Gosh. Anyway, the icon is uh, now the new icon. If you want to revert back to your original icons, just uh, go right back in the way you did before. Click it so it's outlined in blue. Just, go, just do Command X to cut. And when you cut it off, it'll go back to the default icon. Anyway, so that's uh, one way to customize your Mac. Thank you.